The Duke Cancer Institute is very proud to have been chosen for this visit. The Vice President's staff thought that we were a good place to visit because we are in the collaborative environment of the Research Triangle Park. The particular effort here is to focus on what we can do to stimulate collaborations to have a bigger and faster impact on cancer research. You know, the work this guy's done has been absolutely mind-blowing. We chose Dr. Paul Modrich as, uh, as one example of the great science that goes on at the Duke Cancer Institute. Uh, as you know, Paul won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry this past year for his work in the study of DNA repair genes, which are important in understanding how tumors develop, how mutations occur. In addition, he met with Dr. Matthias Gromeyer today, and Matthias, as you know, uh, has been leading the discoveries that led to the development of the modified polio virus, which has been so effective in treating the most lethal type of brain tumor that occurs in patients. Things work better when there's a strong advocate. So having someone with the visibility of the vice president and the stated support of the administration to be behind an effort like this goes a long way. <laughs> Cancer is a very complex disease. It's not a straightforward problem. We are now in a position to apply that knowledge and to use technology that's been developed over the last 40 years to make that final leap into more effective and less toxic therapies for cancer. The field is very excited about this. <laughs>